Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rise Podcast. I'm your host, the Resin Black Spider-Man, Mr. Karabam Zuli. I am here for episode four of the Rise Podcast with two incredible inspirations of sure. mine. Good friends of mine yeah, here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with uh, Mr. Jason Sanders returning. Uh, you were on the first podcast. Very first the one. very first one. Uh, shout out to you. Shout out to B, who was on the second one. I was on the third one, hosted by Megan Ravelli, our amazing member. And today we have an incredible guest with us. Awesome, man. Please uh, yeah. introduce yourself. Uh, before I introduce myself, you are too cool, man. That's <laughs> you are way <laughs> I too told cool. You, Not true, you, 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 you make us uh, look like sound bad. Yeah. I'm so conscious of what I sound like. Now. <laughs> it's like because I don't know how I'm resident black man. <laughs> Yo, if you are if you are listening to this, the, we look better on video. <laughs> 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 I promise you, don't <laughs> go by sound, our voices. Don't go by our voices. We do look well, better. Let me speak for myself. You, I'm not <laughs> so sure. <laughs> I look guy. better on video. So, guys, thank you so much. That's a been episode that's four. A, that's, that's a wrap. Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap. These guys are up in life. I don't know. Uh, I'm also oh, single. Yeah. Just sit down. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to just throw everything. A big, uh, big shout out to Urban Life for this space. If you are yes. watching on YouTube, this is uh, provided by our good friends. Uh, we are very, very grateful. But yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr. Yeah. Sir. Cool. Introduce myself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, what do I even say, man? I'm not the resident black spider man. <laughs> what you, what's I your think of a character for you. What's, what's your resident? Ant Man. <laughs> I'll go with Ant Man. Wow. <laughs> That's a high joke. Yo, guys. <laughs> yeah, we just started. <laughs> I won't lie, that was funny. Wait, let's just give you a second to recover oh, from yeah, this, man. man. Crack myself up. Yo. I don't know if you guys are gonna do it. You guys are gonna be friends after this. I don't that know is a high joke. That is oh, a high joke. Is nothing, though. It, it, this is a high joke. It's taking all the me like crazy. All, all the Holy Spirit I have <laughs> the to to go through this podcast right now. I man. believe in you, bro. I believe um, in you. You got yeah, this. Yeah, uh, my name my name is Wanga. Uh, I sure. think you said that already. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, I I'm in ministry. I love Jesus. That's I guess the most important thing about me. My relationship with God. Um, I love youth ministry. I love serving young people. I think that's why you guys have me here. <laughs> Um, that's because you're cool, bro. That's why yeah. I'm part of this. Yeah, bro. And, and you get a free studio space. Yeah, and I happen to have been in the conversations about Rise movement uh, yeah. from possibly day one. Sure. Actually. So before day one, actually. Yeah. That's a good point. So good I love the idea. About. I love I love both of you. Um, and I like what you guys are doing, and I'm keen for us to be part of it. Nice, yeah. man. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's me. Could you uh, elaborate on that? I mean, you guys were, yeah. I mean, like I mentioned in our first podcast that yes, I yes. was only brought on probably end of last year yeah. or when the rise, our first RISE conference happened. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in and, in and around the conversations, but you guys have been in it basically yeah. since our pandemic, since the lockdown. Yeah. Um, can you t- tell me a bit more, tell the people a bit more about when those yeah. conversations started? Yeah, I think, we, I think we started talking about working collaboratively uh, in ministry before there was even the name rise before yeah. there was an idea to do a conference or anything yeah. like that we started connecting i think during during lockdown or just before lockdown uh, it was before lockdown i yeah. believe it was before lockdown because we already had a relationship established yes. during yes. lockdown. yes so it was myself lester wanga and nav shout out nav yeah uh, and lester we just you started did, say lester. did i say lester yeah. oh, wait. Again. but you can say it again lester <laughs> lester, <laughs> lester, <laughs> lester, Sinclair, lester so yeah we just started chatting around um uh what does it look like to to work together how can we bring youth pastors together youth leaders together how can we build relation with one another and then i think at that point we just started saying let's take it let's take it slowly and see and hear from god what is it that he's wanting to do in this generation mm. and we met we we're meeting for a while for years we met consistently yeah uh really? just sharing about what we do in our different ministries yeah. stole a lot of ideas <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think from us, we didn't even. I, I don't even think we were thinking any movement. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. we are guys in youth. Why are we not connecting? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and we we were like, let's connect consistently. Yeah. Let's meet. Let's have coffee. We would go yeah. to your church. Yes, we yes, go yes. to Les. Did we go to Lester's? No, no we no, never no. went. We met at a coffee place next yes. to his church. Mm. No. Yeah, we did. We. Oh, oh I met with him. You were not invited. You. Oh, wow. sorry. As it ah. also <laughs> list. Okay, this, sure. Uh, I out. got you list. This I got a, you, bro. Oh uh, man, yeah, I met with him. Uh, I met with him there. But so I mean, the, I <laughs> don't get offended now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you offended. My coffee shop is at the chicken licking nets. Nah, nah, nah. That's not considered a coffee there, shop. A coffee nah, shop. it was there's an coffee actual shop. coffee shop. I don't oh, remember there. what. There's one right there. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. What the coffee shop was, but yeah. we were meeting, having conversations, and terrible, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. I'm offended. Uh, you know, we spoke about J- Jason. 
I'm done with life. <laughs> and we decided it's good for us to love him, just like <laughs> Jesus does. <laughs> so thank let's include your, him. Thank let's you for just, your grace. Let's just pray for him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then rise happened, and you invited a. Yes. Well, you already had some yeah. sort of like thing going on with rise, yeah. Yeah. but it just seemed to work. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I think rise at the time was it just made it made perfect sense as we transitioned through our relationship and through the conversations that but the, of, of conversations that we were having at the time. Yeah. I think rise was the next step. Mm. of 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 that conversation uh and yeah here we are today mm. was it um was it difficult kind of maintaining those relationships during the pandemic i think that's a it, we obviously all went into we went into a national mm. lock, uh, national shutdown here in yeah. the country and obviously we couldn't meet physically for a, bi- a big uh, portion of time as churches even yeah. just casually um but yeah what was that how did you guys maintain those connections to to the point that we are here now Yeah, good question. Once That's a you, really good question. How did you maintain those? Uh, That's what, what I do, guys. It's By not do. following up. <laughs> 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 By absolutely isolating myself. <laughs> not responding to WhatsApps. <laughs> not responding to WhatsApps. <laughs> But you know what's bad? Yeah. Myself, yourself, and Lester. We're, we're all, all shocking. We are so bad. <laughs> so the fact that we've been able to maintain a relationship is... Yeah. If you don't believe in God, that's the end of God right there. But it is. <laughs> but, it, but it is also, I think we have a good understanding of yes. our strengths and weaknesses. Yes, 100%. No, it was it wasn't actually difficult. Yeah. Um I think I think we because we knew each other's hearts um and we knew where we were at uh mm. Mm. it even though we never met often mm. during covid mm. uh we did a lot of stuff together though yeah. during covid because mm. you came and shared at Blaze. Yes. Um I I went to Leicester. There was yeah. You you were there as well. Uh, yeah, the, the the online conference. Yeah, the online conference we were there. So the relationship was there and it wasn't that difficult. Mm. Um mm to to keep i think mm. just because we 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 wanted the same thing we yeah, had the same sure. goal obviously mm. out of covid it was like let's let's be intentional about mm. i think it was actually harder to maintain the relationship mm. after covid after than COVID. it was yeah. uh during covid yeah, sure. because COVID. after covid now you don't have an excuse <laughs> yeah, <for yeah>. Sure. <laughs> and then uh, everything was busy after covid as yeah. well getting back into the swing of you and it's be, easy you have to be more intentional you have to be way yeah. more intentional mm. so yeah it was harder on the after covid yeah. to keep connecting yeah. than it was during yeah. Mm. Yeah. and it's 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 quite interesting because i mean you've been in and around like the YBF setup for yeah. quite some time i mean we we met like 2016 or something like that yeah probably some, something like, something crazy like that um and even just to see like the relationship still strong is is oh. pretty is pretty dope yeah. and before before i get to some questions that i had for you guys um you two were both uh, involved with last year's conference you both uh, spoke at the panel jay obviously had a, an amazing preach on the friday yeah <laughs> <laughs> I was legitimately <laughs> waiting for you yeah. to say something. I knew it was coming. No, I mean, did you get? No, nah, you did well. Man. Yeah, you did yeah, well. Did, yeah, you, you did, did okay, Jay. Um, but yeah, uh, praise God, praise yeah. God. But um, <laughs> so with last, just from you guys being involved with last year, how did you? What was your experience of uh, the conference specifically? And mm. um, then looking towards this year's one, what are you guys excited for? So, one girl, start with you. Um. Other than Jason totally butchering it yeah. on stage, <laughs> yeah. uh, but on a serious note, I think I, I think the conference was incredible. Yeah. It's actually our uh, our leaders and the teens that we we went with till this day they they'll, they'll still talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, just we had salvations. I, I think mm-hmm. one of my my favorite moments uh, was seeing how many people gave their life to Jesus yeah, that second sure. night, mm-hmm. um, and. And yeah, I, I, just the relationships, meeting different people. I, we we got to meet. I mean, you were incredible at bringing people from different places mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. together. Guys from Alpha and mm-hmm. different youth pastors from different mm-hmm. areas. So overall, I think uh, the conference definitely had a, a huge impact. You guys are great at putting together an event. Uh, so That's it Gareth. wasn't lacking any fun. That's Gareth you know, in the back there. Yeah, um, nice. I'm all I'm all for the vibes, man. Yeah. Like I think yeah. it's spiritual to have fun. So <laughs> yeah. uh, it was it was it was very yeah. fun, memorable, and <clears throat> and uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and and obviously impactful because yeah, mm-hmm. sure. we preached Jesus yeah. and the gospel. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think the same. I think it was it was it was amazing in the sense that that obviously all the work that went into conference resulted in. In people giving their heart to the Lord, and that was the main thing to see how yeah. people encountered the Lord through worship, through the message. Mm. Um, you know, there were so many different aspects of the conference that I enjoyed, mm. but leading up to the conference was stressful yeah. because uh, no, no, people never knew this on the other end. But for us organizing, 
you know, some things were a little last minute because of Gareth. Gareth just messed up big time. <laughs> Apparently, he's coming next week on oh, the next no, podcast. Yeah, yeah, we need to just yeah. now joke. You Gareth, can ask him what we'll happened. Talk about Gareth what happened, and the yeah. team did an amazing job. And even even yourself, Grabo, jumped in in the last minute to make things make sure that things work out. But for myself personally. I enjoyed the second night where we we had that panel discussion, mm. Mm. and there's something different about when you when you get to minister the gospel with people that you care about and people you consider to be your friends. It's a different mm. experience. Mm. Uh, and for those of you who weren't there, we had this four way preach type thing. Yeah, with yourself, myself, Lester, and then Mitch. Mitch, uh, Mitch if you listen to this, bro. <laughs> Sweaty jewel. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is, bro. It's like a gang. You, Mitch, you and bro, Mitch are part of. Is that a I didn't think we young blood forever. I'm not yeah. surprised no, that Mitch, you're making bro. gang signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Moving on. Uh, yeah. This guy, bro. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I think that that was a highlight for me. Was uh, was getting to to minister, uh, you know, with your friends and minister with your mates. And I think, long story short, that's that's also an awesome part of being a part of Rise is that not only do we get to see what God wants to do in this generation, but you get to do that in community. Mm. You get to do that with other like-minded, like-hearted individuals. Mm. Mm. And uh, yeah. looking forward to the conference this year. Mm. Same time, uh, 16 June, 17, uh, fast approaching. Yo. You know, it's one of those things where we, we, th- we say, oh no, it's a few months away. <laughs> and then a few months is tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, what, what's your thoughts leading up to this year's conference? Uh, what's been on your heart towards it, especially UJ um, being kind of involved with the planning and everything? And but yeah, what's uh, what's what's your thoughts leading up to the conference this year? Yeah, I think I think I'm I'm even more expecting this year than what I was last year, and and just because this year I feel as though we have a strong revelation of what we feel God is wanting to do, not only at conference but what God is wanting to do in this generation amongst this group of people. Mm. Uh, I think that's the thing that gets me really excited is that I genuinely wholeheartedly and authentically believe that there are people whose lives are going to be impacted for generations to come. Mm. Uh, I, I feel that Rise is going to be a moment where people are just set ablaze. Mm. See what I've done there? Collaboration. Thank you. <laughs> set ablaze. Shout out. Their youth is called Blaze if you don't know. Anyway. That was, <laughs> that was actually very clever. That was, that was a bar. Yeah. Yeah. But uh but yeah, I just I just really feel it's gonna be this very a pivotal and significant moment uh where we, we position something that's bigger than a conference. Yep. Mm. Um that is actually a movement and, 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 and I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing the hundreds of kids that pull through and, and looking looking forward to them becoming a part of this movement uh, yeah. that God is uh, that God is starting. Yeah. Yeah, on the back of what you you said, I'm just excited to what something like this means yeah. uh, for South Africa. Yeah. Uh, I think being able to have, um, you know, it's not necessarily a platform, but yeah, it is a platform, an area, um, a community uh, of people, uh, especially because of what June 16 means uh, for us as a nation and how it was such a radical uh, shift. Uh, I mean, you could even go to say to the to, to the point where, um, if it wasn't for that ni- for those 1976 movements, mm-hmm. um, you know, things wouldn't have turned out the way they did in terms of mm-hmm. apartheid and stuff. So mm-hmm. it was definitely a very important moment mm-hmm. uh, in our nation. Mm-hmm. But that we get to leverage that and yeah. say the gospel speaks even mm-hmm. louder yeah. um, uh, to our nation, to our yes. country, and mm-hmm. it's young people carrying it. So. I think overall, I'm keen to see how that message unfolds mm-hmm. uh, on the day, on the days of the event and beyond the event yeah. uh, for our nation. I, I do think Rise captures that. Like, hey, um, as young people, God is calling us mm-hmm. uh, to rise for our nation, especially in a time uh, mm-hmm. where we are in. Mm-hmm. But rising, like mm-hmm. Jesse was, um, Jesse, <laughs> uh, like Jason will say it, you know, it doesn't look like. Yeah. What we yeah. think, um, yes, and yes. in the gospel, it means yes. something totally different. Totally different. But yeah, I I, I just love the whole message. Yeah. I'm excited for the future of the nation. Yeah. Uh, or, or or I think this is gonna be huge, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm really yeah, excited for, sure. for what it means for us. Yeah, and 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 that's the cool thing as well. Just on what you're saying, there's a there's a weightiness mm. uh, to it, you know. Yeah. And and that's not we don't say that because our oh, man. You know, it's a th- it's a thing you say when you want to convince people to come to a conference, but there's a weightiness to what God is wanting to do. You yeah. know, and and 
we we are going to challenge the idea of what it means to contend for a future mm. Mm. you know we we live in a country where we have the history of contending for something be it something that's very militant and and yeah. taking to the streets and 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 I'm not I'm not necessarily well maybe I'm opposed to that I don't know but I I rising is 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 measured by your ability to surrender in mm. the kingdom yeah the more we surrender to God the higher we rise the song by your song my but my, my something touches the sky where my knees hit the ground you know it, it's it's you that sing it i don't know it i can't remember it i was not just gonna sing it for you i don't know that in a falsetto and everything <laughs> i just can't remember it now. but yeah so nah, we, i know the song you're talking you know about I, mean? so, i just wanted you to embarrass yeah. yourself <laughs> so we so so we contending for something that is generational yeah, yeah. we contending for something we we are saying that we we are we are done with the superficial uh surface level consumer driven christianity and we are saying that as young people the future and what god wants to do in this nation across this globe is within our hands yeah you know and what we do with this moment and what we do with the gospel and what god has given us is important and as opposed to the, doing that as a ministry or as any or as an individual mm. to do that in partnership and in community sends a very strong message mm. not only to other youth ministries but mm. sends a very strong message to the kingdom of darkness mm. yeah. that we are not intimidated mm. you know that we are not fearful mm. that we are full of faith and we know who's back in us we know who's in our boat and we're not afraid of whatever the onslaught is we know yeah. that we carry the banner of victory you know but it's convincing our youth our young people of that truth That yeah. we are on the side of victory and that's what rise is about yeah mm. beautiful and <laughs> amazing and uh i think on the back of what you mentioned wanga the history of the country history of june 16 yeah there was a, a period where the young people of the time rose up against yeah some an oppressive yeah power we all very aware of it in this country and obviously now the issues are very different yeah. with our young people there's still uh, a somewhat of a an urgency to from from my young people mm. and um but the the challenges are different now yeah. you know we're in a social media age now yeah instant gratification age whatever we I mean we spoke off air about other things about other other challenges and i wouldn't uh, would be awesome if we could just kind of reiterate that again and i just yeah. had a couple of questions for you guys um what do you think is the biggest challenge now faced in this generation sure yeah. mm. you know what before on that mm. I, i like the word you use the agency mm. yeah um i think i think we 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 take likely how agent mm. uh you know the mission of jesus yeah is so i i like that you use the word agency uh because there was agency in 1976 and mm. that did mean you know against um kids being forced to do africans and education mm. and all all of that stuff it it meant marching yeah um uh, but for our generation now mm. the agency is still there it mm. hasn't changed it just looks different yeah. on how we we express it mm. so yeah i think what is our biggest challenge what's the question. most agent challenge we have that's a that's a, a very subjective yeah, yeah, <laughs> um answer i guess yo i, I want i want to give you this one man <laughs> what's the most uh, you you're the minister of agency yeah so yeah. <laughs> minister of uh what's what's the biggest challenge young people face <laughs> mr youth i haven't preached in in, in a while yeah, so you clearly preach on these issues every yeah. week <laughs> i think i think there's there's multiple challenges that we face as a people uh as a youth and as a generation mm. i think there's a sense of hopelessness um that i consistently come into contact with yeah um there's a there's a sense of 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 distancing you know when it comes to truth and i think the biggest challenge that we face is in generations past even though you know you might not have wanted to be a christian or wanted to be somebody who's a part of a religion you you understood the importance or you understood the significance of a faith where it was even if it was just from a values perspective that you align with the values of a particular religion because mm. you like the the values that come with it mm. you know and you don't engage in the relationship i think the generation that we are in now is a complete departure a a a a complete departure away from even the appreciation and the respect of the values of christianity I think the biggest distraction that we face in saying that is distraction. 
Mm. I think our generation is distracted by everything that mm. is happening around us. I think we're distracted by what we see on TV. I think we're distracted by uh, the desires that are within our heart, by the ambitions that we have. I think we're distracted by the the rhetoric and the conversations and the talks and everything that's happening around us. I think it has shifted our focus away from where truth is. Mm. And now all of a sudden you have this thing of multiple truths. Your truth versus my truth versus that person's truth. When by the very definition of the word truth, it's exclusive and it's mm. only the truth and we know what the truth is. Yeah. And I think that that's the biggest challenge. But I think where, where there's great challenge, there's even greater hope. And yeah. that's the thing that I think we're all excited here mm. with. You're saying that this, this might be the greatest challenge. It's a hopeless generation or, or a generation who feels hopeless, who's distracted. But the, the greater truth to that is that Jesus still sits on the throne and he's still in the boat. And he's not intimidated by what it is that we see. Mm. Um, sorry, it does not become a long answer. But uh, I remember when, when we were building up towards Rise, and I mentioned this in the first episode, is, is during worship, uh, I had this very clear, very vivid vision that I felt the Lord gave me, this very clear prophetic word that the Lord gave me. It was, uh, it was a, a, a storm, like a crazy storm, and there was a boat in the midst of the storm. And when I looked in the boat, the boat represented safety, but the boat was empty. And the people that were meant to be in the safety of the boat were working on the water, walking on the water. Mm. And I thought that the Lord saying, despite the storm, despite the craziness around us, the Lord yeah. is raising up a generation of young people who, who find it more comfortable in the storm than what they do in the safety of the boat. Mm. And the storm represents the hopelessness. The storm mm. represents mm. the distraction. The storm represents the onslaught of information and influence. But God is far greater than the storm. Mm. You know, the Bible says that he has authority over the storm. And we see that in the book of Mark, where he commands yeah. the storm to be peaceful, mm. you know, because he was in a place of peace. Yeah. Um, and I think, and I think that's the, 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 when I, when I think about our greatest challenge at that very same moment, I'm reminded of our greatest hope. Yeah. And that is the fact that Jesus is in the boat with us. Mm. Well said, man. I would have mm. just said AI. <laughs> <laughs> that is a it's a, it's a, it's a great challenge. <laughs> I don't have a challenge yet. I have a chat GPT account. Should I delete my chat GPT account? Delete your um, chat GPT account. <laughs> you know, on that, um, yeah. I, I yeah, I agree with distractions. Yeah. I think it speaks to yeah. identity as well. Mm. Yeah, um, good one. I think yeah, I think it's pressing for us to help. I mean, I need to constantly uh, be reminded of that because yeah. I often stray away from that yeah. reality that I'm a yeah. son. Yeah. Um, and I think there are sons. We are sons and daughters, mm. uh, but it's we don't. We we actually one Christians mm. like Jesus loving teenagers mm. or young people don't understand how to live that out. Sure. Um, and how how much more concerning is for mm. in a world and a culture that's. Mm subjective about what mm. sonship and daughtership is that a word yeah, yeah. um <laughs> we'll, looks like we'll claim it today we'll claim it <laughs> yeah uh but but yeah i think they, there is a pressing need for yes. identity i think it's yeah. a challenge a people good, yeah. are facing yeah. um young people are facing they don't know who they are yeah uh who they belong yeah. to where yes. they belong to yes 100%. Uh, but i think when you know who you are mm -hmm. then yeah. the belonging yeah, that's a good one um, the, the impact, the mission, yeah. the purpose, mm. all of that start to fall in line. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I think we're all confused. <laughs> and uh, I mean, amazing answers. And I, I just have one last one before our time is up. This has been really awesome. Yeah, that's good. Without, without uh, us I'm speaking, I'm ready for this last one. Your questions have been hour. great, man. Thanks, man. Hey, man. I, I haven't even gone through all of them, so we need a part two and three for this one. <laughs> oh, uh, it's gonna wow. be sick. I told you one um, that talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, final question, and um, I think it's. Uh, on a more lighthearted one, I suppose, is uh, what's your heart for this generation? What do you What do you feel? Personally? Once, what do you yeah. What do you think, bro? Yeah. What's the Lord saying to you there? <laughs> this is there's two youth leaders here, by the way. I'm drinking water, yeah. bro. What's uh? Why do you get Why do you get uh, aquila water, bro? And I get uh, because we are at my venue, bro. Oh, <laughs> no. Shout no, out I'm just son, kidding. Son. I think I think that's what happened. We're not supposed to be advertising. Our yeah, water. don't say the sponsor, Man. bro. Oh, sorry. They're not paying. That's not a quail water. They're it's not called paying. something else. Hey, fuck up the cash. Are you going to bleep it? He's going to beep. Hey? You can bleep it. That's up. fine. We'll, we'll let them Answer slide. Answer the question. Are you thinking what's, about uh, that? What's my... What's your heart for this generation? <sighs> Yo. 
<laughs> you, said a, you said a light-hearted question. Sorry, I you came said the, such a light-hearted question. Yeah, I was uh, like, what do you do for fun, Wanga? Like, yeah. <laughs> what do you do for fun? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about basketball and yeah, watching yeah. NBA. Yeah. And that is more light-hearted. Like uh, I pray that a lot of teenagers would do understand yeah. the value that is in the NBA, yeah. man. And just, uh, <laughs> I I saw that enjoy guy. LeBron I was, James. I, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> I, was I, did, I did not see it going that way. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. That is the most pressing need <laughs> for our generation. Yeah. No, I, 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 I think I think I think it's from the answer I gave earlier. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Like mm. I, I'm. I'm more and more discovering what it means to be a son. Mm. So I'm obviously a bit biased on that answer, mm. Mm. but I think I think belonging to God's mm. kingdom, being a son, mm. uh, I think I think that's for me the thing that I want yeah. for the future. Because because the creativity, the purpose, the mm. influence, all of these things that young people want to become, mm. when they are actually rooted. In Christ mm. and being and knowing that you're you're a son, you're a daughter. Imagine what world we can create. Sure. Yeah. So imagine the impact we could have. Wow. Uh, you know, when when you're living from that place. Mm. So mm. obviously, no, we want to be influenced. We want to do all these things. Yeah. But I think dealing with with that root thing, know who you are, and man, imagine what you can do. Sure. Like the possibilities so become endless yeah. if so your true. father is the creator sure. of the whole universe. Sure. Mm. So that's such a good answer. I like that. I answer remember you that. mentioned that in your preach last year. In your, did I? You did. Ah, I remember that. I guess. Is that what you said? You uh, did I, say that. I, I should have paid attention more. <laughs> yeah. so what did point. he say? He said, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did I say? I, I listened. That's something I'm passionate yeah. about. Yeah. Man. No, it was, so it I'm glad that it comes through. Yeah, yeah, yeah but so I think good. the thing of sonship and identity, hmm. you know, and understanding who God created you to be hmm. and who you are in him. I think that's beautiful. You know, I pray that that people would would know the height, the length, the width, and the depth of Ooh. God's love for them. Yeah, sure. You know, sounds like you quoted that from the scripture, man. <laughs> I did. Sure. I just I just can't remember the scripture. But I'll put the scripture at the bottom. Put the scripture. I think it's in Ephesians somewhere. No, it is in Ephesians. It is. Yeah, Two. I don't quote the scripture, bro. No, it's really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a test. He just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure he knows it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. So, uh, so yeah, so so again, identity, sonship. Uh, and just experience the love of God. I know for myself, mm. that was the game changer for me was, you know, I grew up around a lot of Christians and I heard a lot of Christianese and the talk around the faith, but everything changed for me when I experienced the love of God. Mm. You know, mm. when when in a moment I, I, I felt as though I had an encounter with God, uh, that was significant, a very significant moment for me. Mm. Um, and then and just understanding the truth behind scripture. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this last question is for Wanka. Sorry, Jason. Ah, um, yeah, you see? Because you, uh, you give mediocre answers. Bad, no, no, I'm kidding. Your answers have been really you see, good. Well, this guy's the answer only, mediocre. Only, only reason why is because I asked you in the first. In oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, That's the only reason why. Reason why. But, um, is it an easy question? This one oh. is more, it's, it's a bit, it's, it's, it depends on how last you Last time you said lighthearted, man. That was so we lighthearted. Yeah. That was so lighthearted. <laughs> but this one is, um, Wanga, what is your dream? Mm. For your life, mm. what are you dreaming for? <laughs> Not necessarily for this generation, my bad. Not necessarily for this generation, but just for you as a as a son. Oh, you want to you get a word to break? Uh, yeah. I want to just say this has been an incredible, incredible yeah. podcast. Uh, we are over time now. It's been twenty five minutes. It actually uh, has. It cheers, has. guys. I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I dream that you sleep well. Yeah. <laughs> What is what is my dream for? I actually didn't catch the question because I yeah. What is uh, my dream for my life? Yeah. Um. My dream for my life. Okay. One of the things I am very very passionate about, uh, other than ministry and all of that, is reconciliation. Yeah. Um. Sure. So, uh, I love. Mm -hmm. I, I. 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 My dream is to take mm -hmm. that message. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that heart to as far as I can, I guess. Sure. Or as far as God can use me. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't mean just like platform or stage yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or whatever. I think I've had the incredible opportunity for God to use me in my family to find, see relationships reconciled in friendships and uh, racially with people that are mm -hmm. so different. Mm -hmm. um, so 
but I want to see how far that can go. Mm. And I don't know how that looks like. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it's not necessarily a thing, mm. but it's more a, of a hard thing. That's but good. A good I love answer. reconciliation. I'm passionate about reconciliation. Mm. And there's a whole huge story involved sure. in that that would take a whole nother podcast. Yeah. But if you ask me what's my dream, uh, that's, wow. that's, that's my dream for the church. That's my dream for my family, for my life, for my friends. Um, and for yeah. our nation and our country. And I just want to be used in that area. Sure. Bro, you're deep, man. Yeah, that is a great answer. I don't man. lie, bro. I underestimated you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come out on screen and say that I thought of you lower than what I should have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's where we... Um, <laughs> that's where we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much. That yeah. was a thank you, absolutely bro. wonderful time. I had an awesome time. I wish we could talk longer, but like I said, we have a t we have time limits and all that. Yeah. Uh, but guys, thank you so much. We'll definitely have more parts. You'll see these faces again. Thanks, man. Um, guys, what's your dream? <laughs> my dream? <laughs> yeah. Well, Actually, let's enough. close with that. I want to know what's your dream. That's okay. a good question. But yeah. end of nice, so it's like a drop the mic. Yeah, moment. just drop the, just the mic after there. that. I won't even ask my, you anything after that. My dream that. is not even that deep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just to... I want everyone to watch the NBA as well. That's yeah. uh, <laughs> amen to yeah. that. <laughs> no, but so, um, I think so. I mentioned this in the previous yeah. podcast with Megan, um, but I'm more than happy to talk about it because it is something I, I, I enjoy. Um, but uh, my dream for my life is and it's going to sound, and I said it previously, I yeah. just I feel like it's lame to say, but I just want to be super happy and fulfilled. Mm. and how that looks i think in my my life especially with my walk with god it's been just this continual openness to mm. be used in whatever way mm. i can be i've never dreamt about being a pastor or being involved with youth or anything like that i've just been lord wherever you want me mm. place me there and i'm happy to to mm. be used you know what i mean and i just want that to be the posture of my heart for the rest of my life i want to be used however that is um mm. my like superficial dream in my life i just i want to own a coffee shop <laughs> and live near a beach somewhere and just do like photography as like a side gig you know what yeah. i mean just and just do like stuff like that and create spaces where people feel welcome uh create community in those spaces um i've always enjoyed and i feel like it's something that i'm good at i'm good at creating mm. those spaces where people feel seen and known i love talking to people we were talking and we joke around jason would be like oh i wonder how this guy's doing i'd be like oh, yeah, i spoke to him this morning yeah. <laughs> um, and i'm super passionate about that i love yeah. catching up with my with people and friends and all that kind of stuff and i want that to always be like the posture of my heart so my dream is really just to for one just to be used in any way shape or form by god um and if that is through a coffee shop where i can speak to people and let people feel welcomed and uh yeah that's what i want to do man that's that's my dream nice. cool. uh, uh you you have mentioned but uh, may as well end with you your dream bro for people who didn't see the cup first couple of episodes yeah, now Firstly, we're all dreaming, yeah. man. go to episode one and watch the full one because i do a better job at answering the question there but my my dream is really say that all my family i just want i want to be a good father i want to be a good husband um my primary ministry is my family and and if my family is in a good space, uh, you know, then then I feel free to do everything else that God has called me to. So yes, I want to be used in this generation. I'm passionate about young people. I'm passionate about what God wants to do in a particular generation. I'm passionate about big ideas and and vision and pulling people from all walks of life together. I'm passionate about revival. These are things that get me excited and get my my heart mm -hmm. right up. Uh, but I I do very purposely want to say that my 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 greatest passion is my family mm -hmm. and, I, and i don't want to add too much to that my family as a husband as an as a as a father and i consider my friends to be my family as well mm. uh to be to do justice relationally to my friends as well mm -hmm. yeah you great answer you're guys. also deep man yeah deep bro not bad he can yeah. be when he, when he wants to be yeah. <laughs> and i want to be yeah? Yeah. yeah guys thank you so much uh this is the rise podcast once again uh, engage with the content follow us on all of our platforms at rise movement our website is live you can buy tickets oh, for yeah. the conference. Ah, nice. Uh, oh, Rise tickets are off. Yeah, Uh I will put the link in the description, but it is here as well. You can see it. Uh, oh, can you put it between my hands? I can put it between your hands. There so it is. Bigger. Yeah. Bigger. There it is. But um, can you float like you like the floating? That thing? I can't do. I'll, uh, maybe I'll I'll ask these guys here to open Can you pass it can, to me? Yeah. Just pass it. There, there it is. Yeah, yeah, sweet, I got <laughs> it. You guys are making this this edit hard. <laughs> Future me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm but so what sorry. do I do with this now? Now, to make it disappear. Just, just close your hands. Okay. There it is, it's gone. Um, guys, tickets are out now. Uh, tell your friends, the conference is on the way. Follow Rise, 
Guys, thank you so much once again. Awesome, thank you. Man. Peace out. Okay. Cheers, guys.